In this lesson, you will learn about variables in AutoHotKey. First, let's look at string variables. So we will create a script on our desktop. Right click, New, AutoHotKey script. Then we will right click and Edit script. So to introduce a string variable, we first need our shortcut to activate the script. And again, that will just be Control Q. And now we can write our script. So we want to name our string, my string, and then we can just say colon, equal sign, and then we need to put our string in quotation marks. I'll just say, call my string hi, hey, yes, and then we can print that uh, value out in the message box. So I'll say message box, then we need a percentage, and we can write out uh, whatever we want here. And I just want to write out uh, the variable and we define it up here so we can just say my string and this one will write out the value of my string and I'll end in return and now we are ready. So we can save it, can activate it and now I can press Ctrl Q and it will print out the value of my string which is hey. We can uh, combine um, string variables here. So say that we want to write something more, then we can concatenate two strings with a dot here. And I just need to put in the rest of the string in quotation marks if I haven't defined the rest of the string. And the rest here in another string up here. So I'll just say, hey viewer, how would you rate this tutorial? Like this. So this one will write out the value of my string and then it will add this one here. And maybe we should add space like this. So we will save it, we'll update the script and we'll press Ctrl Q. Hey viewer, how would you rate this tutorial? Maybe we could have had a quotation mark if we wanted. But we could also have um, like all of this, we could have that in a second variable. So let's try to do that to show you how you can combine variables once more. So in again, remember quotation marks, and we'll take all of this here. So we'll copy, cut it out and put it up here. So now we've got a string, we can call that my string too. So uh, you need to name the two strings They're in a different way. You can name it whatever you want. I just have my string and my string too. But then we need to add it here to our message box. So we'll have the hey viewer. But um, what we need to do here is that we add quotation marks because this one will, this is the hard code string here. Then we can uh, put in a dot and then we can have the my string to like this. We will save it and it'll be the exact same thing as for before. Now we just concatenated three strings with two variables and one hard-coded string. Let me update the script and we will run it. So again, how view, hey viewer, how would you rate this tutorial? Um, we could also introduce numbers and it actually uh, quite it's actually quite easy. But now you just you need you don't need the numbers to be in quotation marks. So we get to find uh, let's call that my number like here. And we could uh, give it the value seven. Let me delete this my string two here. And in our message box, we could do a calculation. We could also, of course, also have printed this out. But let's say that we want to have the my number like this, and then we could um, multiply it with five. And can you guess what will come out in the message box now? I'll click save. Update the script and we'll run it. Control Q. And yeah, that was 35. So in this lesson, you learned about variables, string variables, and number variables. You learned how to concatenate the strings and you learned how to do mathematically operations with their numbers.